today I'm going to be doing a video all about just how I edit and my tips on how to edit and stuff I've learned basically just over the past couple of years of doing YouTube. And stuff that I wish I would have known when I first started out making videos and just tips that will make your life so much easier, especially if you use Final Cut Pro. Quickly before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you have not already and turn on that little bell for notifications. But yeah, once you've done that, we can get into the video. So the first thing I'm showing you how to do is make thumbnails. I use PicMonkey.com and select collage and then I'll import the pictures I want to use from my computer. So the first thing I do once I'm in there is obviously I'll add my pictures but I'll change the dimensions to 1280 by 720 which are the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. Then I'll add in the pictures I want to do and then you can just adjust them to your liking. You can play around with the exposure and the placement just to make sure it fits the screen. But once that's all done I will go in and I'll add a border. So you just go to the border tab and and then adjust the size and the color you want. And then you go to export to editor to do the rest of your editing. The first thing I'll do is I'll go and I'll just want to make sure the colors match. So I'll select the saturation for all of them or the temperature and just kind of play around with it with the picker thing until I get like a good color overall so the pictures blend well together. Then for the text, I'll go into geometric on the overlays and then just get two boxes, one white and one black. And then I'll kind of arrange them how I want. And then you can just type in what you want and play around with the colors. I use the League Gothic font. And yeah, I play with them for a bit and that's pretty much what I do just to get the text. You can see it on the screen, it's pretty self-explanatory for this part. Then if you want to add in any other overlays, you can go to the overlays tab and choose things you've saved from your computer. I'm just adding in this 100 sticker and then I'm adding like a fire thing and that's how I do my thumbnails. To color correct, start by selecting the clip you want to use. Here's a quick before of what the clip looks like before any editing. To start color correcting, you want to select the little magic wand tool and go to show color board. You'll get this board and it will have color, saturation, and exposure. I just bump up the exposure and saturation, that's literally all I do. And then you'll quickly see the difference here, it just brightens things and makes it look more professional. If you want to add an outline or border around your text, select basic title and type in whatever message you want. If you already know how to type in the text, I don't really know how to explain that. You'll just see where I'm going to type it in. And I'm just going to write a random thing, so yeah. You have your message and font adjusted to your liking. You can go scroll down in the font section and you will find something that says outline. And once you get to the button that says outline, I don't know where I'm going with the mouse, but so you get to outline, select it, and then hit show, and then drag down to the width, and then just bump that up all the way. And then you can change the color, and your font will have a nice little outline and it will look really nice. Now, if you would like to have that shaky style to your font, go into your effects and scroll down and type in bad TV. Click and drag this over your font and you'll have that really cool little effect. If you would like to have a cool little moving overlay, you can select your overlay, just drag it on, I just find one on Google, and then it double tap it and head it to the button where I'm going. This is for transformation, I believe, or transform, yeah. So then you can size down and adjust the angle of how your thing is, and then you'll see a little plus button at the top where I just hit, and once you hit that button, you can drag your font a little bit, then hit your space bar, drag it a little bit again, hit your space bar again. Don't go for too long, otherwise the movement will really seem unnatural, I guess. But you can see what I'm doing. Every pause is me hitting the space bar. And then once you're done, you will have created this cool little animated effect and you can do this with text, fonts, overlays, whatever you want to do, and that's how it turns out. A super simple way to get a cool effect for your videos is using the kaleidoscope effect. So once you get the clip you want, literally just go into your effects and search kaleidoscope and drag it over and then you have it and it's a really cool screen as I'm using this one in the start of my video, but yeah. To get a cool ombre effect on your clips, you'll want a film burns effect. Just Google film burns, go to this website that I'm going to right here. It's reliable and it, you shouldn't get a virus from it. And then you'll scroll down and where I'm going, you can download the film burns and they'll just go into your downloads and then click and drag them into Final Cut Pro. Once you have the clip you want to put the film burns over, then drag the film burns over it. Feel free to 
multiply the clip if it's not the full length you need. And once that's done, you can go into the clip and you'll scroll down or it should be at the top and you'll find a little button that says opacity and you can make it less opaque and then you'll be able to see the clip through the film burns and it will give it a really cool effect as you can see here. And yeah, you can play around with it and do a lot of cool things. To get a green screen effect on your video, just go on YouTube, search green screen transitions, and you'll find channels that have a bunch of free cool ones, and just screen record while you're doing this. And this one, credit to editing by Nicole for this green screen. And you just wanna make your screen full screen and scroll to the video where they're actually having the green screen, and literally just screen record this and save that screen recording when you're done. And when you're done recording all the screen recordings and stuff, it should be in your desktop. Drag that into Final Cut Pro and then select the clip that you want to use to put the green screen over. When you have your desired clip, find your screen recording and find the part where you're taking the film burns, I guess. And just select that. I don't know why I'm having trouble doing that. And place it over the clip and match it so it's the same amount of time as I am doing right here. And once that clip's the same amount of time, go into the film burns and you'll want to crop and transform and trim it until it fits the screen. You can see what I'm doing. This is kind of hard to explain. It's just tedious and like you literally just want to fit it to the screen and make sure it's covering the whole video that you're putting it over, I guess. But yeah, once it is over the video, you can go into your effects and search Kier, K E Y E R, and you'll find that effect. Place the Kier effect over the green screen clip and it will work as a green screen and you'll get a cool effect on your videos. This is really versatile because you can find so many transitions to use out of this and most of them are free. So yeah, that's really cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, make sure to hit that little bell by the subscribe button for notifications just so you can get notified whenever I upload so you don't miss a video. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Goodbye!